very close, isn't it? Um, hi guys, my name is Katie. Today I'm going to do um, a bar workout for you. It's a bar and Pilates combined workout actually, so it can be used as a warm up if you're about to do class or just for your day ahead, or it can be a workout on its own. I'm going to do a little snippet of each muscle group so it gives you an idea of a full body bar workout, but you can do different ones, so more um, directed towards your core, your hamstrings or your glutes or quads, whatever you fancy. But today I'm just going to give you a little taster of everything. So let's begin. All you need is yourself, a little bit of space and something you can use as a bar. Maybe back of a chair like I've got over here and a yoga mat if you have one. I don't in my house right now, so I have this lovely beach towel. So let's get started. most bar exercises here as it starts to activate your core which you'll need throughout the rest of the workout. If you're about to do class, anything to do with jazz or ballet, you'll need your core and it can be used every day just to help your posture and maintain strength. So start by holding onto this plank just for a few more seconds. So you can really start to feel those muscles. Finally, holding onto that plank, we're going to do 10 up and down. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10. Alright, come down from that plank and relax for a second. Now your core should be all fired up a little bit. We're going to take it to the bar. Let's go onto your bar. And you're going to stand at the side. So we start whichever way you want. And keep your legs in parallel and come up to demi point. Or want to demi point. You're going to bend so your knees over your toes. And just lower down a little bit. And hold this position. Start to do your inner thighs engage. Then take it a little bit lower, making sure your pelvis is in line. So don't arch your back too much, don't concave. Okay. Stay just straight, and we're going to add some pulses with the legs. You're going to squeeze your inner thighs and bring them in and out. And in and out. Let's keep that going. So the lower down you go, the more you'll feel. Make sure you're staying on that demi point. Lower your pelvis down a little more if you can. And really squeeze those inner thighs as you bring those knees together. All the way in. Let's try not to put too much weight on that bar. Hold as much as you can. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Same hand on the bar. You're going to come all the way up to demi point again. 
and bend your knees a bit over your toes. Now once you're in this position, just hold it a little bit. And see if you can lower your pelvis anymore. In a second, we're going to do the same movement we just did. But you don't have to touch your knees together as you're on first. So you're just going to squeeze your thighs in, your knees should move a little bit, and back out again. So let's try that. So we've got in and back out. I'm doing this one. You should really be starting to feel the burn a little bit there. You should also feel it on your lower seat, so just beneath your glute muscles. So squeeze it in and out, in and out. Keep going. Shoulders back. We're just going to pulse here for 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now hold up for you. Maybe your legs are shaking a little bit now. If they are, that's good. If you're burning, you know it's working. So you're going to lift your right heel off the ground. them out. We're going to come away from the bar now so you can ditch the bar. You're going to come on to your mat or your beach towel as I've got here. <laughs> We're going to go on to all fours, okay? So next thing you're going to work is your glutes. And we're going to start off making sure you're on your knees and your hands. Start off with your right leg. We're just going to straighten it out behind you and lift it off the floor. So we're going to do 20 of these leg lifts, okay? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 19, one more, 20. They're gonna hold your leg up, hold it there. Now we're gonna bend and stretch from the knee. You're bending your leg and stretching your leg. We're gonna do that 20 times as well. Okay, here goes. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Now hold that leg. You're now going to join your left elbow to your knee ten times, okay? So we've got one, two, three. This is really hard if you're on a wobbly surface like the grass. Five, six, I'm just trying not to fall. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now lower the leg down. We're going to go straight to donkey kicks on the same leg. So you're going to kick up. And down, up and down. Three, we're gonna do this 20 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Try to keep that leg turned in. It's very easy to turn it out, especially if you do a lot of ballet. But try and keep it as turned in as possible to get those glutes working. This is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now take a second, go back into child's pose if you need to. I'm gonna pop straight back up, and guess what? Do all the same with your left leg. So, left leg straightens up behind you. We're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. 20 times again. Hold it out, gonna make sure your right leg, sorry, right arm is in the air, and you're gonna don't follow it like that. Gonna join the elbow to knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, nine, and ten. Now bring the leg down straight into donkey kicks. We've got pushing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The wind's making my head look really cool. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Pose you lounge on the floor and just push your hips up into the air, making sure you're trying to create a nice straight line down and keeping your knees above your feet. We're going to hold this bridge pose for about 30 seconds. Just think about really pushing that pelvis up into the sky. When you see you dipping like this, you're arching too much, you just want to try and create that straight line. It's also a very good core exercise, as well as working your glutes and your lower back and your hamstrings. It's actually quite hard to work in this position too. So keep on holding that big pose. And we're going to add some squeezes at the inner thighs, just like you did 
and up the claw. So we're gonna squeeze in and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. Keep going. Rolldowns, and on the tenth one, we'll hold it, and that's when we'll do the Russian twists. Then we're going to come up, relax for a second, and I'm going to do a boat hold. So boat hold. If you get a good bit of grass, not like I'm on, just like this. You can hold that for a little while. Then you're going to roll all the way down, and we're just going to be ten full sit-ups with a stretch over your legs as well, so you can stretch out your hamstrings too. And then we're all done. So that'll be a little taste of you of a little bit of each of those um, muscles, muscle, what am I saying? Muscle sections in the body, can't think of the right word. But you know what I mean. So we're gonna start off, sat up. Maybe if I come on a bit more of an angle, you can see me better. That's it. Just gonna roll as far as you can, 10 times, okay? So we've got one. And up. Two. And up. Three, and up, four, and up, five, back up, and six, this is seven, So you're going to roll down and stay there. Hold it for a second. Now we're going to do 10 Russian twists. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come all the way up. Rest for a second. Get yourself into a good little balancing position for boat pose. Like I said, if you're in your garden like I am, it's actually a lot harder than you think because it's quite uneven surface, but we're going to go with it. Just going to bring your legs up for a boat pose. I'm going to hold. It's a really good opportunity to engage the core. Hold those legs up. If your legs are shaking, that's okay too. Mine's shaking a little bit. We'll engage your hip flexors. Try and keep your back straight. And hold that core. 15 more seconds. Ten. Five. And one. Release down. Go all the way back. I'm going to do ten sit-ups all the way over. We've got one. Two. Three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Now just swap over those legs. Get a nice stretch of the hamstrings. Hold on to your heels. Lower yourself down gently. work your glutes and your hamstrings and your quads so make sure you stretch those out afterwards go in child's pose for a bit of time if you want to stretch out and relax your back stretch out your abs everything you can and if you want to use any of those individual workouts you also can do that as well or you can use the whole workout together as one so thanks guys hope you enjoyed it see you later